got this thing on the sawmill where I want it. I just got to slide it over a little bit more. What I meant is I like to have the, this cut horizontal. Um, actually, I like to have it vertical. I want to, I want this cut right here to be vertical for my first cut. That way, when I finally get down to my cant, it will be horizontal. And if there's any wood tear out into the log, it'll be uh, kind of just in this one area, not in the end of every board. So let me uh, try and turn this monster with my PV. somebody out there when I started to turn this they saw my log stops facing the wrong direction meaning the pointy side towards the log but with these log stops it doesn't really matter which side's facing the log because they always dig in but guys with this sawmill on YouTube throw PVC pipe on there you saw what happened when I just tried to turn it watch this see how nice that is uh, just tell me when, just look at that end for me. Tell me when I'm perfectly vertical. Right now. Uh, let me try this. Let me try this. Oh. Let me try not getting killed today by an oak log. A little bit more. You do it right here. So I cut a log this winter out of this log pile. It was probably as old as this tree on the ground anyways, laying down. And someone asked me why I cut so much off of it from my first cut. And it's because that side, the wood was probably punky. You know, that sap wood doesn't age well. See that? On the pile. So I just took a big heavy cut right off. All right, I got that going perfectly up and down right now. Lock it into place. All right, I turned that so I got my uh, my tear out spot, the hinge, uh, perfectly vertical right now. So by the time I'm done making this thing a can't, it'll be horizontal and any junk wood, any tear out will just be limited to a couple of boards instead of being in every board. So I make this cut and make the bottom cut and I flip it, take one of the sides off, flip it again Take one of the other sides off probably be eight cuts total usually i take quite a bit of the sap wood off and then i get one board and then i'll flip it one or two depending on the shape of the log slide them on too far I don't know how your PVC pipe fits on here but these things fit tight if I slide them on if I slide them on all the way they're a pain in the butt to get off and then I got this unistrut unistrut I cut it so it fits between the rails Got holes in it. Let's put my PV in there. I can slide the log over. Lock it in place. I want to 
one on this end. And up against the stop, so I'm good. I'm gonna mess around with this log either because the bark is gone it tells me it's been on the ground for a few years longer than it should have been and uh, any of this exterior wood it's gonna have that rotten sap wood in it it's, it ain't worth wasting your time I'm gonna stop my first cut uh, about 17 inches off the deck that's uh, 14 inches on the four quarter scale log is about I've got 19 inches the small end and we got 21 at this end but it flares out a little bit at the bottom here um, I'm gonna cut that right off and I'm gonna take the scrap wood and put it on the forks instead of throwing it where I was throwing it before that made a big mess just let that side collect sawdust on the saw this is when I always hit metal I don't know if I got this tree from a tree service or not I don't think I did I think it's one that I had to take down that was near the house um, there shouldn't be any metal in it As you can see, the, this piece of wood, it's got a wicked taper to it. Wouldn't get much of a board out of this end, but because of the, the belt, the flare out on the bottom, it looks like a lot of waste. <clears throat> This is all punky. So that's still good firewood. So I'll throw it up on the tractor and uh, put that in the firewood instead of it taking up room in my drying pile. Has one heavy piece of wood though. All right. Here we go. So you can see there's the hinge right there. And that's the crack, the tear out I'm talking about right there. Running up into the tree. So when I'm done making, cutting all the sapwood off of this log, that crack will be horizontal to the saw blade or parallel with the saw blade and I'll only ruin a couple boards right here not all of them 
and you can see the sap wood the rotten wood that's why I take a heavy cut off no need to mess I ain't gonna get much of a board out of this this is kind of punky on both sides the sap wood so now I got a good eight inches right there I'll have a little bit of sap wood wane and a couple of boards but not too bad won't be a bunch of them that's why I take so much off on these logs that have been sitting on the ground for a few years I'd like to have more time and cut these logs up as I get them but you know life goes on and I got other things to do today's a beautiful day for soaring up a lock let's get it done having a wedge anti kickback or rollback wedge at least one two would be better in case one fell off be rolling these heavy logs up on the trailer like that especially these punky ones that tooth pulls right out of that sapwood always at the worst time discoloration sap wood a little bit of rot in the wood not what rot but a little bit of weathering not ideal it's not the worst thing in the world I'll still be able to get one board out of the middle of this thing even though it's this wide that sap wood curves around in the back I'll probably only get uh, maybe a five inch board out of the middle of this inch and a quarter thick but I can use it so I'll keep this one a couple more logs this old all probably from this tree as far as the red oak goes um, the rest of my red oak has bark on it so that's good I mean I keep them up off the ground on dunnage but that only does so much when you leave them too long
You know, there's something... <clears throat> Since the first log, I tried flipping on this sawmill. I've been wanting to put a wheel on the top of these backstops. And I saw a video of people using PVC. I mean, that's a great idea. And it does help. But when you get to this stage of the game with a heavy log, and you flip it, and you get the PVC in there, you got a lot of fidgeting around to try and move the log away from the backstop, keep it from falling over, get the PVC off the backstop, get the log back up against the log stop. And I know all I gotta do is put wheels on the top of those things so they're flush with the face. So when I go to roll, they don't dig in. But then I mill a couple of logs that are smaller and I can roll them around no problem. And I don't do it. I think my next video, I'm gonna be putting wheels on those things. Nice clear red oak.
This wood mine is a silver tip. It's cutting this red oak real nice. Is the silver tip with a seven degree angle on the tooth. It's a uh, 0 0.045 thickness on the blade. I got it on my Woodland, Woodland Mills HM 130 Max. I'm ripping through red oak that's over 13 inches wide and it's cutting it like butter. Nice blade.
soaring up the old red oak. So I got plenty of daylight left. I think I'm gonna go up the road and visit the family. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.